Dorothy Johnson Vaughn Biography 1910-2008 Dorothy Johnson Vaughn worked as a mathematician on the Scout Launch Vehicle Program that sent America's first satellites into space. Who was Dorothy Johnson Vaughn? Dorothy Johnson Vaughn was an African-American mathematics teacher who became one of the leading mathematical engineers in early days of the aerospace industry. After the U.S. defense industry desegregated, Vaughn worked with leading computer operators and engineers, becoming an expert in the Fortran programming coding language at NASA. She worked on the Scout launch vehicle program that shot satellites into space. Vaughn and other female African-American mathematicians are the subject of a 2016 film Hidden Figures. Early Life Dorothy Johnson was born in Kansas City, Missouri on September 20, 1910. At age 7, her parents, Leonard and Ann Johnson, moved the family to Morgantown, West Virginia. She graduated from Beechurst High School in 1925, and four years later, received a Bachelor of Science degree from Wilberforce University in Ohio. In 1932, she married Howard Vaughn. Career in Mathematics For the next 11 years, Vaughn divided her time between being a homemaker and a mathematics teacher at Robert Russa Matone High School in Farmville, Virginia. In 1943, the family moved to Newport News, Virginia, and Vaughn was employed as a mathematician at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, the predecessor agency to NASA, in what she thought would be a temporary job. A beneficiary of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's Executive Order 8802, Vaughn was among the first group of African Americans to be hired as mathematicians and scientists. The executive order prohibited discrimination based on race, religion and ethnicity in the defense industry. Working under segregated conditions. However, even with the executive order, state and local laws required colored mathematicians to work separately from their white female counterparts. Vaughn was assigned to the segregated West Area Computing Unit, where she was required to use separate dining and restroom facilities. At NACA, she was responsible for calculating mathematical computations for engineers conducting aeronautical experiments in wind tunnels on the variables affecting drag and lift of aircraft. In 1949, Vaughn became the first black supervisor at NACA when she was promoted to manager of the West Area Computers. This work group was composed entirely of African-American female mathematicians. The title gave her rare visibility and she collaborated with other well-known computer operators on various projects. She also became a dedicated advocate for female employees who deserved promotions or raises, often supporting white women as well. Work with NASA and the Space Program Vaughn led the West Area Computing Program for a decade. Then in 1958, as NACA was transitioning into the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, the agency abolished the segregated working environment. Vaughn joined the new Analysis and Computation Division, becoming an expert Fortran programmer, and worked on the Scout, Solid Controlled Orbital Utility Test, Launch Vehicle Program, one of the nation's most successful and reliable launch vehicles, used for launching a 385-pound satellite into a 500-mile orbit. Later Life Vaughn sought but never received another management position at NASA. She retired in 1971. During the final decade of her career, Vaughn worked closely with fellow NASA mathematicians Catherine G. Johnson and Mary Jackson on the launch of astronaut John Glenn into orbit, which brought confidence back to America's space program. Vaughn died on November 10, 2008. Her legacy and the story of the other women of West Computing lives on in the 2016 film Hidden Figures.